Hey guys, if you're ever buying diamonds, Aptoid's version of Mobile Legends will save you the most amount of money. The more people that buy diamonds from them, the cheaper they actually become. So there's no reason for anyone not to be using my link in the description. It's 100% legit. They're an official partner of Moonton, so there's no risk of your account being banned, and it literally takes 10 seconds to download. So if you're not saving money, I don't know what to tell you, you're, you're just missing out. Here we go. You guys are new to the channel. Um, make sure you use the link in the description. Actually, it's probably already in the video. Great way to save money. We're going on to game three of MPL Philippines season nine, week four, day one, Echo versus Onik. And oh my goodness, I'm way too far ahead. I guess there was a pause. Uh, so we'll go back to the beginning a little bit. Shoot. That's fine. We'll start it off at 3 2, I guess. Game's pretty even right here, so. I'm fine not watching the beginning if nothing's really happened. <laughs> Onik chooses the Franco. Alarski's on the Uranus. Kurtzy's on the Eve. Gotta be careful of that Kurtzy on the Eve. And again, they don't. Okay, this time they have a Hellkurt for the Eve. And a Win Win to kind of push past it, but. A Kag to kind of target it. Last time I think they had a Lilia versus the Eve. You definitely have to have some counter to the Eve. You can't just, if you're under the Eve and you, you can't stun her or something, it's like, you, you gotta be careful. Like, look at the damage already. Boyski's half HP. Hey, that's what I just said. That's what I just said. Curtsy on that Eve. Also, the, the thing you get out of the umbrellas coming out from the Kagura, it's three wards at this point. There's the deep cuts general, at the bottom lane the here. Deep cut of the, general. <laughs> the eternal battle is what they, uh, I think it was. Uh, Ari's right coming in. That. There's the hurricane dance. The Hellcurt ult. Well. Here it comes. Wow, he doesn't get the turtle. Benny says no mercy. He's not even worried. The Wenwen's barely doing anything. Oh my gosh, and a flicker. The evil. They're all behind him, though. Not looking too good for Echo. Oh. What happened? How did they get behind him? I wasn't watching map, but... The evil, like, little curtsy, man. The evil was, like, really, like, really far out there when they were behind him. Another pause. Is Marcy gonna? Yeah, probably win. Win. Up. I don't know how I feel about the win. Win. Giving kills to Marky is very important for Onik because you can't rely just on Kyrie to uh, carry this game for you. You still have a one one. So, so far, against the Lance and Eve, I don't know. Looks dangerous. I think that's a fair enough answer on who's leading when it comes to the gold lane matchup. And he's got Marky at this point has two of his main items, right? That you need on a one one that's right. to be successful Blue here. So, you know, Marky. At some point, he's going to be a big hassle or a thorn in the side here for Echo. Oh, man. Is he going to ult? Oh, you know, the last skills. Point, you can see that at the bottom. Oh! Oh, oh my so god. That was close. Win-win against Esme if the win-win's farmed, man. You got to be careful. She already used her Inspire. Esme would have died there if she had her Inspire up. You, gotta, you need Dreadnought ASAP. And uh, with this one up. Focus on the turtle here. The largest folks him out. There's the darkness. Alright, all it's Yowie zones out Kari. Ari couldn't do anything. Kari! Your whole team's fading, Kari! Kari! Starting to play a little bit like Kevior. <clears throat> Halkert's just not. Alarski fades. Yeah. Oh, easy. No oh, way. Hatred with the same. Good play from from uh, Carlsy there, there to avoid Boyski. Like three out 
Franco hook the second <laughs> skill. Oh my god, Garotizzi is on fire. You, you don't let him play two games now that he's playing it. Oh my god. He's also the sole reason why Ego was able to win over Onik. And love the fact that Benny Cutie jumped with him. It's 1-1. One, one. The they're, they're both really good teams, Echo and Onik. They might be top counter, of the league, I think. The, the Hurricane Dance was pushing away the members of Onik from the real world manipulation. The fact that they kept him together up during the Lord, the turtle fight where Cartesi was eyeing for the retribution onto the turtle, that really is the most important factor on why this high pick is very good for the side of Echo. Yeah, check out that damage from Marky as well, right? Yeah. That's just with a couple of items. He doesn't have that much yet. So that's going to be a, a, a thing to handle for Echo as they have to fight on for this. It is very close still. Again, it's a pretty much an even game. Yep. At this point, yeah, right? It is, it is. Um, Probably going to be another 25 minute game or something. <laughs> <laughs> Double kiss. Ooh. Like, I'm out of here, but that's going to be the fail of execution. Yep. The lockdown as well from the Hurricane Dance. Belowski not able to conceal. Can you imagine a Franco? Yeah, Hellkurt, <laughs> the Eve is 5 and 1. Man, that hero is just still so strong. That Kagura can't do anything against the Eve. He goes down here. Oh, trying to bob, trying to flee, trying to weave. Wait. <sighs> yeah, Hellkurt's just. Oh, with a flicker and he grabs the minion. Oh, oh, man. Everybody held their breath for a second there, but. Who got caught? Who got caught? The cannon See? I don't like the Kai against against the Eve. No range. In their favor when Onik was already leading by so much. It's just. Really, just the Franco. The I don't know. The Franco feels weird it. again too here. Also, Isn't it? with their heroes, they don't have like AOE damage for when Echo is just clumped up together. And all it will take is for Ben Cutie to pop the ultimate, and all of a sudden Onyx Philippines don't have anyone to hit. Pretty sure that Cloud DC will not <clears> let himself <throat> get caught. So, in uh, in a bubble, in a in a big bubble from Echo, you cannot win if you're Onyx Philippines. I mean, the only, okay, I guess the only AoE they have, right, is Hatred, right? That's right. Um, but at the same time, given that, it's not saying that it's as easy to utilize that AoE damage in right. Kagura's kit. Because at the same time, you have to worry about so many people coming in your oh. face here. Oh, there we go. That's going to be a kill. Yep. Grabs that one. The Lord mm. will be taking. Boiski just getting picked off every time. Kyrie's in trouble. Marky just getting zoned out by the Eve, and this is what I'm saying. Like, the Eve is just doing so much here. Are you? He used his retry, though. He used his retry. Barsky? Barsky, they don't have dominance here on him. He's looking pretty strong against them. Oh, is it enough though? The dragon's not here. No, it's not. Yeah, they. I don't see dominance there against against him there. Are you kidding me? That guy didn't even die. Oh my God! Almost. He, I think he missed maybe one or two of them there with the alt. He would have hit the alt. He might have lasted a little bit longer. But hatred came in. I think hatred might be the weakest player on Onik, to be honest. I I really think so. Does have it so the darkness is available. I think it still is a fair fight, but Onik will they actually fight this? I don't think anyone is weak on Echo. Onik Philippines, they've got this minor advantage right now, but will it be enough? I've seen Betty make a lot of good plays. Why are they focusing this guy? They don't have any dominance. I don't. I don't like the focus on, on the Uranus. I don't see any dominance ice from from Echo. I can. I, I can see it in his region. Has been enhanced, and Onik is quite happy about that. Yeah, they're in the better position to go for it. Evolt. Ooh, they're they're I think they're they back they're out. Curtsy, get over to the right. right now, oh, Curtsy is up so far. Don't like Curtsy's position there. Oh man. Oh, dude. 
don't know what happened. There's just no communication there from Yowie and Curtsy or really any of the team. Curtsy's like, Curtsy was front of the line. Look at him. He's way up to the left there. Like, man. He also hit the deadly poison stingers on both Curtsy's and three Marquisi. That's why he's able to clean up so quickly. And then he uh, and he was doing work. And he got Lord. He let go of three Marquisi on purpose. And that was a better trade. Wow, Benny got lowered. He's playing well. Lord. The problem is, though, if you're Chrissy, you don't know anyone's in the right push. You, you have definitely an opportunity to get ganked, but that comes to communication, really. It's a super cannon there. That's a lot of damage on that tower. I mean, again, this is a thing, right? Echo, they're lucky that they were able to grab the Lord there. But at the same time, Onyx Phil Onyx Philippines has to continue to watch out. For the initiations coming out from all these members, we're seeing it right. There's the hook on Yahweh. Yeah, he gets the alt off. He only gets the Franco though. All right, back line on the Eve. Okay, the Helker does something. He dies for it though. Kalarski trying his best to hold on. He does. Oh, Adrian! Finally making a play, but nobody even dies. Again, Where was that play from Hatred earlier when everyone was fighting? So far. Oh my. Oh boy. It's very close. You can argue that either Do they have dominance against this guy? Yasme no, does. I can see it. But man, I think you know if the panda has dominance. If they pop the ultimate onto Hatred, they might have taken more, but wasn't the case. Oh, the flicker in Beloisky oh. with the lockdown. Three Mars in trouble here. He's gonna Ooh, have a I don't know. He might be safe. Down. He's low mana, though. Why Delarcy and Beloisky has to pop the Falling Star Moon to survive the rest of the team here in the setup. Don't want to overextend if you're on it. You want wow. to try to close it slowly here. I like the panda. It's crazy, yeah. I like the answer against the Franco. <laughs> so far. The panda. I like it. I rarely see that hero. Larsky is up there being such a nuisance, and he actually takes blue buff. Oh, Kari misses. Kurtzi, Yernes just sitting on the back line. Yernes is really strong right now. He's got a lot of stacks. Kurtzi dies. How many can Yernes take down? Jeez. No one did anything there but the Yernes. Kari completely butchered that. And Beloisky just count, gets get, gets countered against Yaoi. I think Echo's gonna win. Just I don't like the Cag pick. I don't know if I like the win win pick either. Or the Franco here, really. From your inhibitor turrets and no. Honestly, Echo can just battery. I feel like they're lacking damage again. Like the win wins an answer to some of the damage, but they just get out outranged by the Eve so easily. Okay, come on, like they gotta be paying attention. You walk through mid with the five man conceal, like. They're but gonna notice. Though, because they forced Onyx back to their base again, which means that this that all the lanes will be in favor of Echo. So again, again, those lords, Echo. man, the lords are strong. As we mentioned earlier. Coming very, very soon. I think Echo is aware that they can't let this pass. Um, they have to take advantage of the fact that you know Car Kyrie's not in a good <clears> position in terms of itemization as well. Like he can't really sustain a lot of damage. Yeah. He can't afford to like take damage here. There's the charge up from Echo. Oh! That's gonna be the hook, but it's on three bar, not The purify one. comes off. Pushing them back. I don't know. I'm not seeing them do anything here. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Kari's out in right lane. I like the dragon ult because Kari's still in right lane. Now he comes over. One sacrifice for the greater good. Bloiski trying to sacrifice as well. Marky needs to get off an ultimate. Okay, finally Marky pops the Inspire as well. Oh my god. Yeah, Wayland doesn't really have much range. Finally, the win win did something. Uh, I don't know when he's going to get the ult, but 
I don't think they're gonna end here. Or he doesn't have all one first skill. That skill's coming. I don't know. It's really very, very... No. Oh! That's bad. That's bad. I thought for sure he would have ultimate up by then. Now, <clears throat> let me know, Chad. If, you, if you're in a situation like that, can you buy cooldown items? Does it reduce your ultimate immediately? Or does it not change the effect? Because what he could have done there is he could have bought like fleeting time and he could have bought like talisman if he doesn't have it. And then his ultimate probably would have came up and he might have been able to survive. Is that a thing or no? It doesn't change the cooldown. But on item reduces evolve. But if you've already used it, it will only apply afterwards. Okay, I was wondering about that. I wasn't sure. Really, it doesn't work, huh? He didn't use it. Watch the last clash. He didn't use his ult afterwards. Interesting. Let's go back a little. Oh, I can't believe the end of the game. <clears throat> yeah, Curtsy still has his ult. What the hell's going on here? I mean, you just, you have to use it. So what if the Helker jumps you, right? I mean, you just, you have to force something. Helker's waiting. They're both waiting for each other. And whoever uses it first has a big advantage, right? But the problem is, if you're on the aggressive and you're not using it... And now he uses it. Curtsy's scared. Ari goes in on the tanks. Come on, Curtsy, get the... Oh, man, that's just... Oh, man. Wait, where the... Where the... Now he wants to use it? Oh, curtsy, 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 curtsy. See, the problem is, you're right. Thank you for pointing it out. He didn't actually do anything here. He let his team die, and then he ulted, and his ult didn't even do anything. Right. That was the problem with that play, is you might as well just sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Either the ult equals target for Kag? Not really. It's more of a target for Hellkurt. I don't think the Kag can reach the Eve. If the Eve really ults. If Eve has Amor at the same time. No. It'll only apply afterwards. Interesting. I, was, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. No, but I have no idea. What's up, Khan? How you doing? Cleaning time reduce cooldown when you get a sister kill. I was wondering if it reduced his cooldown, his current cooldown. So that way he could save the game. I'm really surprised they honestly lost here. I don't think... I don't think the play for, for Curtsy here was to retreat right here. Let's take a closer look. He's still detected. But I feel like he could have aimed his second skill a little bit better, considering Marky needs to kite from the minion. He was going down as well. I feel like he could have used his second skill better right here. Or even if Marky's right here, he's still detected, but I feel like he could have gone through here. Alcourt doesn't have ult. But see him right now, his position? I think he could have got a few second skills off on these minions. I really think so. Although the Kag still has Flicker. You gotta do something, though. If you don't have ult, you gotta do something. You know, Eve doesn't really have that burst. He could have been in, in this bush right now. He could have been in this bush. And he could have been in mid, second skilling those minions, at least slowing them down. That's one second skill off he could have got off right here. Assuming the Kag wouldn't. I mean, who knows? You know, the Kag might have Flicker and he died, but you gotta try something, right? No real manipulation. No. That's one skill. He could have been right here. I don't know. It's definitely obviously like worth trying. But now he only gets one second skill off right here. Does he get? His, he's waiting for hatred. Hatred does flicker in. He did, so he didn't get a first skill off. Hatred. Hatred doesn't have enough damage to one-shot him. 
are you someone or farm you're level 15 and don't have enough damage to one shot someone with no I armor? Mate, look at him, he missed his skill. Look at that. What was this panic? I don't know why he wants to rush out so soon. I understand he wants to get out there because the game's losing, but... What is this? What is that first skill, Curtsy? What is that? What the hell is that, Curtsy? It's a butcher. Come on, Curtsy. I don't know. He might have been able to save if he went to mid, started second skilling up mid. Maybe. <sighs> Curtsy. He played pretty well up until the end. Eve has brute. Good night, Kai. Enjoy watching your reaction. Appreciate it, James. Thanks for watching.